are just here today to increase awareness of the disorder. Um, I am a special needs senior teacher at Eagle Hall Special Unit. I deal with children on a daily basis with various disabilities, but um, autism is, is quite unique in, in the needs of the children and, and, you know, how they communicate, how they socialize. Um, we encounter quite a few challenges, so the, the association is basically here to give parents as much support as we can and, and to advocate for these very, very special kids. When you, I guess from your profession and even personally, what would you say is, has been the most challenging aspect of uh, caring for a person with autism? Basically, I, I do have a son, he's 21, he is autistic and, and communication is, is you know, one of the main challenges. Another challenge is opportunities, educationally and, and going into adulthood for persons with autism. We, we need Barbados to recognize and, and we need to have more opportunities for them. Uh, I assume that means jobs, that means what is Oh yeah, opportunities in every area. Um, we have like Special Olympics, which is basically their only opportunity to excel in sports. So we need more support for Special Olympics as, a, as, as an organization. Um, job opportunities as well. Um, we have places worldwide where the law states that at least one person with a disability should be employed um, in your business, at your firm, whatever. Um, we need more post-secondary opportunities training community groups you know because we 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 tend to keep our, our our youngsters with with disabilities at home quite often many of them are not productive at all they need to be included in whatever is going on in in, in communities and society um, somebody who does not know how do you how do you uh, notice the signs of autism well basically the signs of autism may be noticeable from like two, three years old. Um, if by then you have a child who has not reached the language milestones, the social milestones, they're not making eye contact, you know, they're ignoring you, um, they throw a lot of tantrums, they have these strange behaviors that you don't understand. Um, you go to your pediatrician, there's AC Graham Development Center, they're there for um, looking to do early diagnosis and interventions um, you know e even talk to your family you know um, what do you notice you can compare your child with with others to see you know what what, what milestones they may be missing um, we have children who are in nursery so have a word with your nursery teachers your nursery aides you know be ob as observant as possible because people tend to miss or not face reality when when kids are not growing and developing the way they should. Do you have any idea of how many people in Barbados have autism? Well, no, I don't. But that is one of the things that we desperately need. We need a census of persons with disabilities. We need a way that parents can come forward and register their children so we know how many of Down syndrome, how many of autism, how many with cerebral palsy, how many hearing impaired, how many visually impaired. That is data that we need so that we can make decisions. And another point that you mentioned before, it has to do with legislation and uh, pending employment. I believe you said um, there's a law that says that at least one person employed in a... In, in other parts of the world, you will find those laws, yes. So do you think then that something like that needs to be mimicked or, not even mimicked, but you know, adopted for... Within our own context, that is something that we need to do in Barbados. We need acceptance and a changing attitude is a personal thing. You might not be able to get persons to change their attitude, but if the law states that you must include and you must give and you must contribute and you must include, then, you know, for me, that, that, that does a lot. That says a lot.